December 8th. Hello, it is cocktail time, season's greetings. Welcome back, my name is Kimberly and this is my channel for Tickled Pink Events. We are in the middle of our 25 cocktails of Christmas, or as I like to call it, the holiday drinking season is upon us. If you are new here, please click subscribe so you don't miss an upload. And if you've been watching for a while, welcome back. So today I have a cocktail that is perfect for your seasonal cocktail party. This is good for if you have about four to six guests coming over, you want something sort of fancy but also easy because you don't want to be stuck behind the bar all night. This cocktail only requires three ingredients and I think it's a hit even with people who don't like martinis and people who do. This is a ginger martini, which is a perfect taste for the season. Nice ginger spice kind of warms it up, but then you have the martini, which is clean. So it's perfect for your sophisticated holiday cocktail party. Let's get started. First of all, we're going to start off with a shaker full of ice, normal cocktail shaker, whatever you've got at home. We are going to put three ounces of vodka, and you always want to use a cute little decanter. It always makes your spirits look a little more special instead of a big bottle laying around. So we're going to pop that off. Sign of a good decanter is a good seal. Make sure it all stays fresh and that you don't get a lot of evaporation from the alcohol. So look for a decanter with a good seal. And we're going to do three ounces of vodka. And then... Next comes the ginger part of our ginger martini, and that is going to be ginger syrup. Ginger syrup is simple syrup with ginger infused. So what I do is take equal parts sugar and equal parts water, put it in a soft saucepan, bring it up to simmer. Then I put about a two inch piece of uh, raw peeled ginger in there. Let it all dissolve, then cover it, and let the ginger steep in the syrup for a half hour off heat. You can leave it on in there for all night. The more you let it steep, the stronger your ginger flavor. So now we're gonna take our ginger syrup and you can go anywhere from a half ounce to an ounce of ginger syrup. Again, this depends on how sweet or not sweet you like your cocktails. I'm gonna go for an, an ounce just because it'll give it that nice ginger flavor and it'll cut some of that astringent vodka taste. And then the last ingredient is just lime juice and it calls for like a half teaspoon but nobody wants to me measure a half a teaspoon of lime juice so what i do is just take half a lime squeeze it in my shaker and that should give you just amount of tartness and citrus you need and all we have to do now is shake and we shake so it's nice and chill and you want the ice crystals to really form in your cocktail so shake for a good long while there, you see the good frost on the shaker that lets you know it's done. And we just pour into the glass. And there you have it, a ginger martini. Three ingredients, fast, simple, easy. Your guests will be surprised and feel like you're a master mixologist. They don't need to know that it's that easy to make. Garnish with a cute little lime, and you're off to the races. <laughs> Cheers. 